All right, good morning, happy Sunday, guys. And I am making a pear maple bourbon butter, and I'm going to be canning it up. And I'm making it here in my Instant Pot. So I thought I would turn on the camera uh, because many of you were interested in how I was going to do this. Um, if you want to see the recipe, it is in this book here which is a, the all new ball book of canning and preserving um i think this came out was it last year or the year before it might have come out the year before but it's on page 145 in that book so if you want to um get the recipe yourself it's in there uh this is about uh four pounds of pears give or take maybe a little bit more I actually bought six pounds, a little more than six pounds of pears. I figured by the time I core them and peel them, I'd probably have about four pounds here. So I did add a quarter cup of lemon juice to this as I was cutting just so that, you know, I could limit uh, the browning a little bit. And over here, I've got a half a cup of bourbon and a half a cup of real maple syrup. Um, and so we're going to just be throwing these in and what I love about the instant pot and I know many of you want more instant pot recipes uh, because you have an instant pot too uh, so I figured I would do this in the instant pot what I love about this is that I can put this on saute and actually bring this up um, to a boil and then reduce the heat down on low I'm going to be slow cooking this almost like a um in a crock pot that's how I like making my butters the very first butter I ever made actually was a pear butter um, I've also done apple butter I've done blueberry butter um, pear butter is the best so if you've never tried it <laughs> definitely give it a try um, so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on saute and I'm actually gonna turn this up I just want to kind of bring this to a boil and um and then i'm going to shut this off i'm going to let it cool a little bit and then i'm going to put it on the slow cook and i'm going to let it cook down all day until i get it to a consistency that i like and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to can it up which will be later today we've got some running around to do and some just some chores around the house to do um, so this will be slowly cooking probably most of the day and i will can it up later this afternoon so when I get to that, well, when I get to boiling it, I'll bring it back, bring you back just to show you what it looks like. Um, but then I'll bring you back when we can it. Okay, guys, just so you can see, my pears and my bourbon and my maple are now brought up to a boil. Um, and I'm showing this in the Instant Pot because I know many of you have asked me, Heather, why do you love the Instant Pot so much? Should I get one? I'm telling you, I use this thing almost every day for something, and I just wanted to show you could also use it for canning. So um, I have the eight quart duo. I will try to leave a link down below to it. Um, it's hard for me to leave links now on my phone because I don't have internet, so I have to get on my laptop on a hot spot, and I don't know if I've rolled over yet. <laughs> so, um, but I will try to leave the link. Just so if you get it on Amazon, if you, I, I think Kohl's, uh, Target sells this, but this is the Duo. And this is the setting that I'm using. I'm using saute. And when you uh, press the saute button, you can change it from low, medium to high. I have it set on high. So that's the, that's the um, setting that I'm using. And as you can see, woo, without steaming you up, um, you can bring it to a boil. This is just cooking off the alcohol really um, so you'll have the bourbon taste but you won't have the alcohol in it so now that this is up to a boil what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this off I'm gonna let this cool down just a little bit and then I'm gonna put it on slow cook and now I'm gonna put mine on low and I'm just gonna let this cook down and turn into a butter um, the book says to transfer it to a food processor to blend it um, you can use a potato masher. You could use a stick blender, which is probably what I will use. Um, it's just easier and less mess. <laughs> so, um, or you could just keep cooking it until, you know, it's, it's smashed down. Um, I've used a potato masher before. Uh, sorry, I'm steaming. And a potato masher works beautifully. So, um, of course, a um, stick immersion blender 
is fantastic and uh, my girlfriend MJ sent that to me so I use it every chance I can so I will probably be using my stick blender for this um, but now that it's starting just to come down off of that boil there I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this on slow cook and I'm gonna turn mine on low and then just let this cook now I'm going to um, put the lid on it the instant pot you can get a glass lid to go on it which is what I have love this I will try to leave the link to this as well I got this on Amazon um, but I love it because it makes using this as a slow cooker without that heavy um, pressure cooking lid uh, a breeze so all right guys I'm gonna let this slow cook pretty much all day I'll come back this afternoon um, we'll take a look we will blend it together if it needs blending and um, and yeah we'll can it up all right <laughs> So it's been cooking on low all day, and what I do is I brought it up to a high saute again on your, um, if you're using your um, instant pot, and I've been stirring it and stirring it and stirring it and stirring it probably for the past half hour. Oh, I'm steaming you out, sorry. Um, probably for about the half last half hour, cooking it down, rendering it down. And you get it down to is till it kind of sticks on the spoon. You see that? How nice and thick that is. It takes a while. Not gonna lie, <laughs> it takes a while. Um, but you don't want it like applesauce or pear sauce in this <laughs> instance. Um, you want it kind of thick, you know, like a fruit butter. And this stuff is awesome, not only on like toast or. Um, an English muffin or a biscuit but also um, if you want to cut the fat amount in recipes like um, muffins or anything like that you can replace butter with either you know like dairy butter with um, you know how many people do use applesauce in its place well you can use a pear butter in its place so you can see how nice and thick this is so that's going to do it. Now I'm bringing my jars up right now to a boil in the canner and those will boil for 10 minutes and then we will be ready to put this in jars. All right, we are ready to can up this pear butter, which is fantastic. Don't try that at home unless you've got leather skin like me. Now we are going to pull out, I always pull out two jars, one to can in and um, the other one to hold my funnel. Alright, I need my ladle. Alright, here we go. One quarter inch headspace and vinegar and water. Clean the rim. Fingertip tight, and there you have it. Pear, maple, bourbon, butter. Beautiful. How many pints do you have? I have seven pints in here. Although I don't think I really rendered down the, really rendered this down low. So I don't think I'm gonna get seven. Not even close. It calls for six. I'll be lucky. If I get four, 
but hmm, my peanut butter is very thick. So, um, you know, render it for as long as you like. Get it as thick as you like it. about air bubbles this is so So I would say if you like yours a little thinner, don't render it as much as I could. There you go. Jar number three. And let's see. Let's see if we can't get one more jar out of here. If I can't fill it to can it, I at least can put it in the fridge. This is where you <laughs> get every drop of it you can. There you have it. Four. <laughs> so let me see, because I'm pretty sure the book calls for um, yeah, six. Six half pints. <laughs> I got four. <laughs> so you might not want to render yours down as much as I rendered mine down. I happen just to like my butters, my fruit butters, um, to be on the thicker side. Um, but that is totally up to you. It says in the book to render it down until you get, get it to a thickness you like and it um, sticks on the spoon and that's what I did. So there's number four. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to process this for 10 minutes. Get it up to um, temp. Get it boiling. Lift you up over so we're gonna go ahead put the lid on 
when I notice this starts boiling, uh, I will, of course, peek under the lid. When I realize it's boiling, we will start the 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you shut it off. You let it sit for five minutes. Then bring them on out of the canner. And when I get to that part, I will bring you guys back. All right. Time to get this out of the canner. likely I might <laughs> like everything else I can I um, might keep one jar in this case um, just one jar because I only have four and then the other three will most likely end up being Christmas gifts um, that's usually what ends up happening <laughs> with all my and my jams and my jellies and my um well usually I, I keep more jellies than I do even the jams or the the preserves um a lot of it I give away as gifts so or you know even thank you gifts um even the pool guys that were just here working um I gave them jams so <laughs> it's um it always makes for a good gift and and people are always extremely excited and and thankful uh, for them so um anyway there we go look at i promised you guys i'd i'd film the pings many of you wanted to hear the pings <laughs> all right guys that is it i hope you enjoyed this video again let me see it's on page 145 i think 145 of the new ball blue uh canning book if you guys are interested um it's fantastic I, when I tasted it, I was like, oh, this is, the, yeah, this is good. So um, you can put it on top of like a pork loin too if you wanted to use it that way. Ah, but yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I want to give a quick shout out to a Margaret who is a, a subscriber of mine. And a huge thank you. I'm dedicating this video to you, Margaret. She sent me this really pretty um, card with this beautiful handwritten note inside, which I'm not going to share, but I'm just going to show you, sh give you a peek. <laughs> and she sent us a housewarming gift, which meant so much to me, especially when I got this. I was having a really down day, Margaret, and this reminded me why I'm here on YouTube. You know, I'm no one special. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a woman with a camera. That's it. Um, and you know, starting this journey, I mean, I knew nothing. I knew nothing, and my mom wasn't alive to teach me what anything. So, um, I'm just kind of, you know, vlogging my journey, and hopefully, hopefully, my journey inspires somebody else who um, is on their own journey, and, and so you know, you're not alone, or you know. <laughs> maybe inspires you to give something a try that you've been wanting to do you know these are things that i've always wanted to do and i was i i had no idea how to do it <laughs> or where to get started and um thankfully i had a lot of women here on youtube that i turned to and um and here i am i'm paying it forward is is all i'm doing here is is trying to pay it forward as best as i can um and uh, trying to give as many uh, a hand up as I can. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody with a camera. So, um, thank you, Margaret, because this really, it, it reinforced why I'm here. So meant a lot. Thank you very much. So Margaret, this, this video is dedicated to you <laughs> guys. I, I do hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give this, this recipe a try. Um, it's, it's really, really good. You can, like I said, you can taste the bourbon, but you don't taste alcohol, but it does have a, a back flavor. You definitely taste it. Um, the sweetness of the maple syrup along with the sweetness of the pear. Oh, it's really, really, really good. Sorry for all the loud chaos. The kids are playing Hot Wheels. <laughs> all right, guys. I will be talking to you and seeing you later. All right, bye, guys.